Hey everyone, we're back with episode 3 of Life is Strange called Chaos Theory. So where we left off last time was Kate unfortunately committed suicide. We weren't able to stop her from it, which is really unfortunate. So that's, that's where we last left In the off. previous episodes of Life is Strange. Man, why do I do that when they give us a recap? Okay. pieces of time. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Yeah, we Nobody didn't, we didn't shoot that Nobody. guy, so now he has a gun. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffey, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I wouldn't ever want to sleep in those dorms again. Our hamster? Do we have a hamster? Or was it? Kate! Wait. I actually think that was like Kate's bunny that we have now. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Why did I think it was a hamster? I still can't oh. stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who will be pushed you off that roof. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. Ew. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Um, how's our plan doing? See, Lisa? At least I kept you alive. Guess I'm better with plants than people. You don't have to rub it in my face. I can't water it. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And oh, are sorry. you hungry, Bunny? Here, nosh on this.
Cool, let's try not to kill the bunny. Okay. Um, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, meeting Chloe. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. Now Kate's family has to see their daughter's death all over the web like a cat video. And I'm even in this one. Oh, that makes me ill. Huh. Besides Rachel, huh. it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. At least it said you were un unidentified. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. This is such a moving piece of cut-and-paste Blackwell bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. Too little, too late. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels? Hypocrites. Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Oh my gosh, look at this last one. That's horrible. Okay, let's let's go back. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Yeah. Do you have two pairs of wool? Do you have, like, are these the same exact shoes? No, they're different. Okay. What is it? Keep calm and carry on. Come on, you couldn't get a cool one. You gotta have to get, like, the basic one. Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. Should have done, like, keep calm and photo one. I don't know. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Is that your phone? How's your phone that bright? This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Watch this cause a fire now, and it's our fault. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. So much hypocrite. Okay. Hello? Dana's really hurting over this. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. Um, we are all responsible. I think we're all responsible. Let's not for blame Victoria. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Well, I mean, we can blame her a bit. You were- was she nice? Doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? Um, It's complicated. complicated. Oh, Jinx. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. What can I rewind to? Hey, Dana. I just can't... I think we're all... No. Doesn't matter. Tell that to... Dana. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson... Huh? What? It's complicated. I'm getting scared. What? Victoria? Not me. Well, anyway. 
Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, I think we read this already. Okay. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween. Ugh, Victoria isn't Oops. here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Oh. Does that mean we should go through her stuff? Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. What is this supposed to be? Like a tapestry? With, okay. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Well, well. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. Oh, you feel bad for everything you said about Kate in that stupid video? Now, now you feel bad? Okay. Sure. Why don't people think of the consequences of their actions? First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Is this her? What? Okay. You know what? I can't really blame her. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Okay, I don't think we... Um, I guess we just didn't find that much in here. Okay. What? Oh, that's our room. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Time to ponder life in the universe. Yep. Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. I wonder that too. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Maybe you should tell him. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Look at the little squirrel. Come here. What's the point of having your name if I can't look at you? Okay. Oh, 
I'm coming, I'm coming. How do I? Hey Max, don't want to bother you, just checking in to see how you are. I, don't, I know today was hard, but you did more than anyone else could have to help Kate. I'm proud of you. And please, no worries about going to the drive in. And if you want to escape to Planet of Apes, let's go. If you need to talk, I'm always here. Thanks, Warren, still processing. Plus, I got Mr. Jefferson kicked out of his own contest. Call you later. Okay. What? I thought there was another. There. Um. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Who the heck is that? Principal Wells. Oh. Are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Are you drunk? What's happening? What happens if I... How am I supposed to... Uh... Look at me. Look at me. Smart son of a bitch has me trapped. I don't think he's smart. I think he's just. Sue the academy right out of Oregon. Mm. Now I understand why the students call this place. What, I do? what happens if I get caught? Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I, I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside, get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Uh, I don't know. I really can't do what is this thing? Nope. Um It's gotta be something like around here. Oh, the most magical insect. Oh great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Oh, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Got it. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, oh my god. That actually Get scared it? me to death. Ooh, I, yeah. My heart. Like my heart ghost. cannot handle More that. Like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? Oh gosh. Oh. I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... Yeah, why did my power not like work in the one moment that I needed it most? power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? What's with the chaos Didn't theory? Didn't say that it was all about chaos Oh yeah, theory? she said that. I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, 
I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. What are we gonna do with that? I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so well, glad I wouldn't even know where to time. start looking clues, looking for clues time, for stuff like this. Here. I would be such a bad detective. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. You Katie, liar. I had no idea you two were that close. Punch her. Did she? Go up to her and punch her. How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. I just told the truth. Selfie. She was crying after she Listen, left. You've seen my entry. Talking to you. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. Bro, he's not going to San Francisco, though. Fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell Girl, people take you a hint. my photo for favorites or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. What are we searching for? Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. Hey. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Wait, what's this office then if this isn't... Huh. Why is there two principal's office? 
offices. We're gonna we're gonna unlock it. it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lock picking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. You got it, Chloe. Oh. Nothing here. Dead end. The fun part, pressing search on every single drawer. Boring. Yet, for some reason, we can only check the top drawers. <laughs> only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. A phony? A phony for what? Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. You gonna tell us? Oh, hey Warren, okay. you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. Wake up. I got what? nothing. What about your plan? Who's asleep in the school? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay. Warren is such a classic nerd. Okay. We find this all in Let's the... Let's see if I can find those items. Oh, gosh. Where's the... Um, it's probably down here. The science lab. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Okay. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Oh, there's the sugar. Okay. Ooh, sugar. Uh, Only three honey, more honey. items to go. Was this that? What I can't. Okay. I don't think we need to look at that. Hey, who wrote that? I never said they were great, troll. Okay. Why is there just nothing in this place? Chemistry stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. We're taking a photo of that. Why? Um, that stuff you is gonna fall, clothes, isn't Max. it? Don't waste your rewind power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the damn chair. Good, you're self-aware.
You're halfway home, Max. Wait, did you get it? Yeah. No, I did not blow up. Why are people so mean at this school? Where the heck's the other stuff? Ass biology. Ugh, oh, gross. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. Yeah, why is it even called the periodic table? Whoa. No, where's my phone? Hello, where's Warren's numbers? What else do I need? Duct tape. Okay, do I need to go to the art room? That's not the art room. I can't see anything. Nothing. This is so lame. Empty. Come on. Yeah, who takes out the trash at night? Oh, Kate. Your locker looks so lonely. Oh, okay, I kind of think it looks like every other locker, but... Whatever you say. This the art room? This is the art room, so why would we go in here? Oh, it's just the science room again. This is like a scene in a horror film. Yeah, so if I get jump scared, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? It's kinda sad, isn't it? It's a, it's a guy crying. <laughs> I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. Okay, so Blackwell's continuing the investigation. Okay. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Graveyard, okay. Of course, because he's like a psychopath or something. Oh look, it's the lighthouse You again. can never escape the lighthouse here. I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. I'm looking, I'm looking. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. There it is. The tape is mine. Only one more ingredient left. Mm. And where would that be? I probably should find those items now. You know what? I'm trying. Calm yourself. Where did I find a soda can? What's this door? Okay. It's gotta not be in here, right? What if it's back in the office? Did I search these already? Gross. Why did it give us a angle from over there? That's creepy. Nothing here. You have to be shitting me. Huh. Who 
who's that? Hope that was Chloe. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. Okay, what do we do now? Uh, I think we just go back to the office. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max yeah. is the bomb. That's not the... Um, um, okay, why do I keep getting lost? Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Gosh, okay. That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Uh -huh. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? What if you just, like, hold on to the door and then we rewind time? You can't open this? What do we do? Do we run out here? Oh, okay. This is the... Okay, what if I stay in here and then rewind time? Here we go. When we get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this bullshit fucking door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. They just teleported in there. I have no clue how there. the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. It's okay, I don't have taste either. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Why don't you have some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan? Anybody. I'm on the case. Can't see. Oh, okay. Oh, because he drew that. I was confused. Okay. So we did not blow up Warren. Thanks for asking. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Why is she even here anyways? Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, she represents the best outstanding GPA. She's a good person in general. School nurse told the principal that she has experienced recent emotional or physical trauma. She was vague and refused to talk further. They should keep an eye on her. Um, and then the security update. Okay, okay. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. What? Why not? I certainly can't use Is this. Is it locked? Hello? I cannot see. Look at this pile. Uh, are you not gonna search the pile? Tumbleweeds. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Principal Wells, it's come to my attention. The Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. The local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library, or the donation will be rescinded among... How can you rescind a donation? 
Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same con obvious, obvious conclusion. Thank you. Nathan's dad. Okay. What's this letter? If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Why is handwriting awful? Dear Ms. Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my sad, unpleasant, regrettable duty to inform you that your petition to block the new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. I recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and rest assured they will be implemented with the utmost concern for privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will not be too discouraged by the outcome of your petition. We're proud of them. Man, if there was a place to sign it, then I did not see it. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. What? Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extra, extra oh my god extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. Okay. Oh wait, there was a next part. Let's, like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Okay, what does this say? Your GPA is two point eight. Come on, girl. Get it up some. Um, Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quite attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she is acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student's suggestion rather than a specific group. Recommendation. Update, despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof to her death today. This time there is an ongoing police slash faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA in extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from her from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren is considered an exemplar exemplar. <laughs> Flurry student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by a science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Okay, did we? We got all of them right. Yeah. Hmm. Huh? Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here oh, about gosh. the police investigation. Um Okay, well the summary is Rachel Amber is the quint oh, quintessential student quintessential okay, you know, student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and exer oh my gosh. <laughs> the activities which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has a de facto qualities de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. 
We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for your help. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents at the present unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for a quick return to continue her academic excellence. Okay, kind of read those out of order, but... Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad, Chloe. GPA is 1.7. Summary. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent. Oh my, I cannot speak to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update, Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. She looks so different without the blue hair. I think we found hair. everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Max, I don't think you've ever even had alcohol. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. What? No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, no, no. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make me choose? Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. No, it's for the handicap fun. Okay, so... If we leave the money... That goes to a good cost, right? But also... I don't know. The principal is kind of suspicious. Everyone su is suspicious. <laughs> Except for Warren. I like Warren. Um, but if we steal the money... If we steal the money and it was supposed to go to those people, then, you know, it doesn't go to those people. But we could pay off Frank and he might not bother us. Or he might tell us about Rachel even. Um, well, they can't. Is there security cameras in here? Mm. No, leave the money. It's not ours. Don't you steal really stuff. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? Exactly. I know you need to pay Frank back, but 
I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. No, no, no. It'll help other people. Oh, it's a bunch of warning reports. That's great. Erratic behavior. He threw a desk in class. He cussed out his English teacher. Lit firecrackers in the bathroom. Stole school supplies. Threatened the school custodian. Attempted theft of campus Tobanga statue, which is what we saw earlier. Um... And so why did the principal not believe me when I said he had a gun? Why do you make a whole big deal about it? He should have just hid it or something. The principal, I mean. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary oh my gosh exemplary status i told david that i would need more concrete proof and he promised he had more to show i was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from rachel amber he seemed quite upset and claimed that david madsen was following her and taking photographs david would deny this and give them the question of questionable company rachel has been keeping i'm not certain i can believe her right now Okay. Let's get out of here. That impish look scares me. Why do you Care look like you did something? Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is out. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Oh, I forgot splish he has splash. a gun. You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. Uh, seriously, aren't there security cameras? You figure out your rewind power. Or are they not up yet? Chloe's so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? What? Why would we... You're right. Let's go in the boys' locker room. Boys, of course figures perv let me check to see if the pool's heated actually yeah let's find nathan's stuff i hope the otters will survive if only i could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics stolen backpack and school books and new tablet okay wrong one hello Wow, I really just got lost because it's dark in here. And I'm running into a door. Okay. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Oh, what a shame. Who's Logan? I guess I should consider this evolution. Oh, yeah, that guy. Any more lockers we can look in? No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Wait. You were only wearing a jersey and sitting on your football? Uh, okay. 
Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Because he likes you. Some poor hipster lost their vape. That's what I wanted. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Is it? I don't know what these things do, but is it? This must be for training kids. Why are they? I thought we were like a high school or something. Hey. Welcome to 1950. That could, that could be about, um. I bet you do. A different Max. Max, that's a guy, maybe. Why are we looking at the this soap dispenser? This one is dispenser? almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. What? Where did Chloe go? What does this say? Bros will be bros. There you are. Max, try to find the for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Why don't you get off your lazy button and head it yourself? In case That's I run out of the air, light. I know where to come. Where, where, where is the light supposed to be, Chloe? Why don't you go look for it? Hello, still waiting for the light. Gosh, bossing me around to do everything. Look, here's a shark. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Okay, well, wait. Okay. How am I supposed to know where the light is in here? Gotta do everything myself. Okay, can we go around? I bet it's in that corner over there and I just walked around this whole thing for nothing. Yep. Come on. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. <sighs> Why'd I walk all the way around? Yes, we get it. Otters. Okay. Here we go. So, the big plan is... Yeah, man. come on. Why is there not... Okay. I think you need a better, a better plan than win. Hello? Oh. Is that a swimsuit or is it just... Okay. How do I get in? Time to do or die, Max. That's what I'm saying. Let me in. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Drop it already. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I don't like sharks either. They scare me. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. 
She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. What if I had? Thank God. But what and if which I had? time? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? True, true. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Um... Warren is nice. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan, but I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Better not. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. What? You were Let's in there for like Let's three minutes. Call. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. Thanks. You would know. Uh oh. Hide! Hide, they loudly shouted. Are we actually hiding? What are we doing? Exits this way. It's on the ground. Oh. It's a water bottle. We have to go now! I'm going, I'm going. Where's the door? Come on. Are you shitting me? Why is this guy here? Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or what? Just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Just hide somewhere. Hello? Hey. Uh oh. So hiding in a bathroom stall is not a good idea. Where oh, are they? Go, 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 go. Hello? Can I go through here? No, I can't. Shoot. Oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? Where am I supposed to hide? Can I get in here? Oh. <gasps> Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. Crap. Serious. Can't see. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Uh. Oh my god, oh my god. Run, run, run. Go, 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 go. 
Well, now we're just back in the pool room. We are so invisible. Yeah, where are you gonna where are you? Wait, turn around. They're coming. Gosh, we have dummies. to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car. Yeah, like the security officers aren't gonna hear it starting up. <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. The American flag as a curtain? You need some blackout curtains in here. I'm actually surprised that she doesn't have that. Nothing like waking up first at a friend's house when having a sleepover. <laughs> Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. Feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. Yeah, how many days has it been since the again? start of this? It's been like only like three or four. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Did you steal road signs? Is that what these signs are? Oh, that's like a parental advisor. But this one? Um, what was it doing? No. Uh, glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Did that rhyme? No, I think he just said now. Nah I twice. thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Ouch. Well, Rachel's Holy missing. Shit Give balls. her time. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. But the other people. Ugh. 
still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, this is there gonna you look go. great on us, aren't Rachel it? left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. We're wearing Rachel's Next, clothes. You don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. Let's try with the shirt and but jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances. Why are these the only clothes hanging up in your For example, closet? I dare you to kiss me. Excuse Why? me? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Fine. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell Why him you back up so suddenly? You're the one Unless who told me to. Girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Max, a couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. Did you just I call your to, mom uh, by her first. first name? I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? It's in here. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Okay. If you say so. I like this music. I like how she just always has music playing in her room. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Yeah, Chloe just looks so different. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Okay. Uh, I don't want to ask. Don't want to know. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Oh gosh. Okay. Miss Caulfield, I wanted to thank. Oh, okay. I wanted to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. You showed true grace and bravery when you went up to the roof with her. You must know. You did all that was possible and that Kate's life was never in your hands or even hers at that point. Kate has left us for another world, but she'll always be with us and I know she wants you to have a long, dynamic, blessed life. Our family will forever include you in our prayers. Peace and joy, Richard Marsh. That's sweet. Thank you, sir. Is there a butterfly behind us? Oh, it's the bird that we let in. Me. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Kind of gross. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Are you using her toothbrush? I would. I would never. I would never. Even if I was at like my friend's house. And didn't have my toothbrush. I don't care. I'm using like my finger or nothing. I don't. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine and hiding. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. I dyed my hair pink once. Check out Mad Max. Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. Whatever you say, Max. I better not go in there. Ew, yeah, yeah. David might be in bed. Don't do that. I 
Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancakes. It's always pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the Another eggs Another scavenger milk. hunt? Egg Actually, milk? they should just no be in problem. the fridge. Oh, never mind. They're not in the fridge. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Milk should be in here. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Never mind. There's the milk. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. But she hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Um... Is she okay? Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? <laughs> God, I hope so. She was... is... smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe, because she obviously is. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what? A century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast I mean, when we're queens. this young, five Anything. years ago seems like a long time ago. Because we were like, when you're a teenager, when you're a teenager five years ago, you were a whole different person. Ew, why is it so... Okay. No! Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. How many are there? I wonder how these birds died. Would they just fall out of the sky? I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. And we'd push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. It's dangerous. I want to go on like a seesaw thing with someone. This thing. Is this another one? Oh my gosh. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Watch your mouth, young lady. on the news today. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Who drinks beer this early around here? You get three guesses. Whoa, hello? Uh, Chase, can you help me get this bird out of here? Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Wait, open a door and then do that. 
No. Mm, I didn't mean go out there. Can I open this? Okay. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Now we scare the bird. That was a different bird. The other one was blue that I let in. Okay, we'll sit down now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Wow. Peanut butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh, okay. Not the dad number one cup. Why are you eating alone? You should have dragged Chloe down the stairs. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Are we still eating? Or okay, seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at how showing. Do you, how do you know she makes him happy? Uh, have you ever seen that? I don't think that? I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Yeah, I like my t-shirt and jeans. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want morbid. you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she Why is our hair so today. dark? And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Yes, we did. It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering, or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Maybe if you didn't have the attitude. No one can even joke with you, Chloe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Isn't there like a passcode on this? No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. You got it. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. What? Such wrong. Um, okay, we'll, we'll 
do this room first and then go over there. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination that might be a useful password. Well, the password is six letters, I mean, six numbers long, isn't it? Or letters, Nothing whatever there. it is. We'll just search everything first and then try the passwords. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. That's not six numbers either. I could try the license number for the password. No. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Learned how to be strict with your family? I don't know. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's a lot of food. I've never kept food in a garage. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Um. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Oh, that's probably that was the first time they met. Um, did I check everything? David has been dragging this head around since two thousand and one. Okay. Did I search this? Yes, I did. family I bet I bet it'll be something to do with his family maybe is this the date he met Joyce score holy Max the man. hacker strikes again okay whoa spoiler alert wow Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank but why does David care okay I can't believe I guessed that first try okay um where's the re okay Rachel Amber profile. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Why are you following her so much? Um, incident report. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag, no, her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached page for details. Okay. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. KM follows the same path to every day. Wow, okay. Overheard Kate and Dana talking about supplies for Vortex Club Party. Drugs? Question mark. Watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Question mark. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. I agree. <laughs> Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs? Question mark. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran guilty. Okay, you can't just you can't just call someone guilty just because they didn't want to so talk. Wrong. 
No. Oh, creepy bastard. And I got stuff on us. Save my whole school schedule. Okay. Great. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. Um, and can we uh, turn this off or something? Or no? Isn't whoa, he gonna know that? Spoiler alert. We were Rachel on it. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Okay. Well, why does David care? Ooh. Oh, this is Victoria's friend. Hey Max, hope you're okay. Just wanted to thank you for actually giving a crap about me and my mom. You cared about Kay when nobody else did. Thanks Taylor, I know you care too. Not enough to save her, but I'm here anytime you need to chat. That makes means a lot to me. Okay, cause that's that's because we talked to her about her mom last episode. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. Whoops. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Oh, gosh. Not There's going to be a whole yeah, family I'm just fight. Always now. starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh-oh. Um, well, we have to side with Chloe, of course. Because he, he was um, following them and stuff when he probably shouldn't have. And he couldn't save either of them. You're a bully, David. I oh, okay. saw you harass I didn't Kate mean when she was getting his to face. Hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. And that is very true. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David! You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Oh, I hope Joyce doesn't hate gonna, me for tearing into David. He's gonna stand there. Okay. Um, I don't think Joyce hates you because you were telling the truth. I mean, Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Exactly. Understand? I do understand. Okay, where's Chloe? Uh, I think she went upstairs. Oh nope, she's right there. I'm just blind. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Okay, fine, I won't. What do we do now? Uh oh, we're leaving. Oh yeah, we gotta go to school. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. 
If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? That's a horrible Frank idea. Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key. What? And this uh, plan makes no sense. And... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Okay, so not over here, right? Locked. Okay. Means we're gonna have to go into the diner. Oh, where all the birds did. This is so creepy. Um, Pop here. Sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know that you're upset, but your mom and I know you did everything you could to save that girl. Some things are just out of our control. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Thanks, Pop. It's been intense here, but I'm not ready to come home. Talk later. Can this guy help? Oh, my gosh. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Probably. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay... Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Good morning. How are th Don't ask. The fish. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Okay. Good Wait, Lord. I thought we were going to Bacon. school. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for them, though. Freaking nerds. I bet we're not going to be able to go. Um. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. Oh my gosh. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. Oh. <laughs> Why are you left? Oh my gosh, don't turn too bad. Did we fail? Okay, I'll we'll try again. Oh my gosh, okay. I just okay. wanted to see what would happen if I did this. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Okay, we'll just speak to him. Like a civilized person. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. Thanks. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. 
Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. How do I creep In you out? In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. This guy? How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackpool Academy. Uh, um, let's ask about I Nathan. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Hello? I need to go back further. Well, I think this is too far back now. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, officer. I'm glad you... Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. You said... Try interrogating somebody else, you, Lieutenant Caulfield. You said, doesn't this town ever shut up when you just literally told me five seconds ago? How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, Officer Barry. I'm glad you represent. Uh, um. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. Awful. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too. Weird. I don't know about represents he's Blackwell. To be a dick to like, do you know any schools where the he was ranting about a stolen the gun? The school officer out, represents him. He's always out to get him. How you doing, Max? Thanks. I'm glad. Oh, okay. Who else are we talking to? Oh. Do we have to talk to this guy? You're gonna get a hunchback like that. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, cause you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Um... The cops at first. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Why are people in this town so mean? 
Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. You know he's sitting yeah, a few Rachel tables Amber away. With him more than you. So, Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Right? Let's ask about I Rachel and Frank. Frank. Hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Jeez, how many times are we going to rewind this? Okay. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. You have, like, Thanks. nail off, marks dyke. on your face. It's like he's clawed by someone. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should do. Yeah, know. I was gonna say, why, why don't so you tell me? Pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. <sighs> okay. Only, only one more rewind thing. Okay. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Wait, do we speak to him again? Holy shit, what do you want now? Okay, okay, we'll leave. I think that thing in the top left corner was for Frank. You have serious- We already watched this part. Um, oh, there's more stuff. Okay. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living, not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. <coughs> okay, I guess we'll do a different option.
David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Um, the photos? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just the natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Now is when you run away. Well, can't you? You can take key the key brought. Now back. Oh, to okay, Chloe. okay. Wait, do we have anything else? My work here is done here, Frank. Never mind. I thought you might be ready for the Vortex Club, but after the stuff you pulled with Jefferson, no way. You're such an emo queen that you didn't want anybody going with him to San Francisco. You're even too much of a coward to enter your cliché selfies in one dumb contest. It's all about Max. Even going to the roof was about showing off, not about saving Kate. I'm going to make sure nobody at Blackwell is fooled by your woe is Max act. Get ready. Bro! Come on. Did you just... Did a car just... Do you want me to help you? I'll help you. I'll warn you. Alyssa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. You're welcome. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. That's the second time you've saved me, Max. Thanks. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. I saw you trying to save my friend Gate on that roof. The only one who did. While people took camera pics. Um, Kate was my friend. Kate was my friend too. I would have done anything to save her. Everybody saw that. I'm proud of you for being so brave. You're pretty cool, Max. Thank you. That's not how I feel today, but thanks. We need to hang out more. Drink some wine. Wine? We're underage. I have to go, but let's talk later, cool? Chloe, I got the keys. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set, throw! Throw it in the parking lot. Don't throw it towards the road if it gets hit. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. Yeah, so quit messing around. Frank might come back. I know. Just daydreaming. Okay. What are we even looking for? You scope the oh, area clues. while I doubt Frank Whoops. is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. 
Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Doesn't everyone? You kind of need that for food and stuff. Okay. Presto, oh, close there's the gun. gun. Should I give it back to her? Yes. I don't trust Frank with the gun. I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. She better not just keep it with her. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. Pompidou? For reals? That's a poodle's name. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Okay. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. How can somebody live like yeah, this? Yeah, okay. Look, the counter is even... Your sink counter even is, like, clear. There's nothing on it. Why does it have to be in the sink? Is Frank going to deal online now? Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? Well, yeah, I think if he's selling them, they wouldn't be open like that. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Ooh, Frank's stash. No more secrets. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. I got it, I got it. Find a tool. Okay. Haven't we looked at like everything? Um. Oh, okay. We can use that knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous, terrible person and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always, Rachel Amber. So does she actually like him, or...? I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. I guess so. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. Well, I definitely need to show that to Chloe. What's in here? What? I thought we could open this one. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. 
Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! No, don't... What did you do that for? Oh my- Chloe, Chloe, you're gonna hit people. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's nobody- well... It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And- and Kate Marsh- Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? Why your dad? You blame William? Really? Wasn't it yes, a car accident? Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You're still here. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. Means you're we right. gotta keep on living. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god. What is happening now? Is she gonna go into the picture? Like, the show Link Click? <laughs> I love that show. Use AD keys and left. Okay. Mm, I don't know if this is working. I'm trying. This is going great. Don't worry, everyone. I got this. Okay, yeah, just...
Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Chloe just looks Are so okay? different. Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. I guess Max does too. Her hair well, is a lot darker. I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crimps. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. How? We. I volunteer to break the eggs. She seems so happy. How many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right. Like Joyce loves William so much. You're the real cook here. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Whoops. Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time unless I change it. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. So Hello. am I gonna get the oh hey honey you got it just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max we're all going to work Chloe was so into manga nice hair two whales what oh I didn't know Why you is it glowy answers. of course I'll come pick you up now I'll have an Whoa. excuse to get a moment it's all blurry here like I can't step I have to stop William from taking his car today I have to go rescue yonder queen at the save mart she is, don't have is this many a good bags idea? of delicious yeah. grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where am I? What keys? a mess we made. I remember those cool You're drawings that they put in the the keys. We gotta hide the keys. Where's the keys? Let's find them first. It's not the keys. Um, um, where would you put keys? Did he go upstairs? Uh -huh. You can't hide from me forever. Where were they? Now lock up after I leave. What? Where Very did nice. you come from? Huh. Well, I should have been paying more attention to where he got the keys from. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had I'm to get the butterfly. Glasses. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll That's a cool snow dough. A snow dough. Love you. Um, where's the keys? Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the save mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast on. You are on. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar I don't know. for the Can you tell jar? me? You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha. Oh, okay. okay. Got it. Careful, Max. William okay. can totally see you. I had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Score. Now, used to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Run. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder. Can, we, can I just keep course. the keys she on me? Many bags They're not in my hands, right? To feast you are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar mm, for the know. square jar. You mean your college fund? Wherever could keys they be? Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the square jar. You're bankrupting me. That seems like a horrible place to hide the keys. 
crap. Max, this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just, um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's just, let's just wait. I, um, uh, sorry. How are you? I'm good. How I'll are get you? I'll you back someday. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. Okay, go back. Whoops, whoop, no, no, okay. The keys. I, I need do. to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. Be there shortly. Will he hear them in the sink? Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of. Oh. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and... Okay, and that's, that's, that's a bit much, Max. Calm down. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. I don't know how good of an idea that was. I didn't even get a choice though. The game made me. Max made me. Listening, Maxine. What? My friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Wet and cold every day, but Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so much. I know. Sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? Excuse me. I think me? Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Okay, that looked kind of, that's kind of awkward. You just oh, no. walked up to them and this then walked away. This is totally away. fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. What the heck? How did he become a bus driver?
Well, I guess if we did, we literally saved her dad's life. So preventing him from dying changed, like, the whole past five years of her life. So she probably did something with her dad or whatever. And then got into an accident because of it. Great. And then now next episode, we're going to have to fix all of this. Okay. Wow, the stealing the money versus leaving the money is pretty even. He kissed her, said with Chloe, okay. Yeah, see, if we would have let Frank's dog go off on the road, he probably would have been hit by a car or something. Uh, we gave the gun to Chloe. Oh. When did Warren need help with his exam? Who's Lisa? Oh, the plant. The plant. Okay. Um. Didn't erase the cop's message? I don't know what that was. Um, uh, it does that. What, the dog? Does it die later on? Or, oh, you mean, um. If we would have thrown the toy at the road. Okay. Who's the homeless woman? Where was that at? I took a photo in the past. Okay. Alright. Okay. Well. Since we finished that, I'm going to end the stream here, since we finished the game. Not, not the game, but this episode. But why is it not letting me come out of the game? Why is Windows D not working? Okay, I'll just have to actually exit the game. Hello? Can I exit the game, please? <laughs> okay, okay. I got it, don't worry. <laughs> okay, well. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining the stream. Um, I hope you have a great day. Or night, whatever time it is. But, bye!